I just tried to buy a GTR. Not happening. I just tried to buy a Nissan GTR and they wanted a lot more money down. They weren't gonna give me what I wanted for my Audi. We spent three hours at Mossy Nissan. Aaron was cool, my sales guy, unfortunately. It happens. Maybe next time. Keep searching Craigslist. Craigslist searching nonstop. Craigslist. Oh, well. Car Car gurus. Auto trader. <laughs> You guys may wonder why I just showed you clips of all the garbage I have in my house and all the empty plastic containers and bottles and all the food. You know, I, I just want to let you guys know that if you're watching this with like your parents or you're watching this with your friends or you clicked on my video because of cars, you know, it, this video is going to be a little bit more personal. It's, I just watched a Gary Vee video which was really inspirational about how if today was your last Monday ever, what would you do with it? And it, it definitely changed my mood and it kind of made me realize, well, you guys may not know, but I used to do a lot of fitness stuff and I always talk about that in my video. I always say, oh yeah, I lost like 40 pounds in six months and I was doing meal plans and I was doing this and I was doing that. And, you know, I can I can say that all day long and I can always brag about it and, and be proud of it, which I don't try not to brag about it, but I'm really proud of what I did. But I'm I'm back at where I started. You know, I was two 220, 230, and I went down to about 189 pounds. And I'm back at like two 213, 215. This vlog is dedicated to becoming healthier. So if you're not into the whole health, the whole fitness thing, don't watch this video. This is on a personal level for people who really want to learn a little bit more about who I am, what I'm trying to become. You know, I'm, I'm on the way to work right now and every every few Monday mornings we have a meeting where we do a meeting between all three different dealerships and we have to go over just the basics of what we have planned for our forecast. I really wanted to go over more of this food binge eating problem disorder that I do have which I don't talk about often and this vlog is going to allow me to really open up to people who struggle with binge eating, who struggle with working out with feeling like they're overweight. My mom just beat diabetes yesterday. It was really, really good to see her. I spent about an hour with her. No, I spent about four hours with her. And it was just really refreshing to hear how healthy she's doing and how much better she's doing. With that being said, going through seeing my mom from going diabetic twice to beating it and how I was working out, was it was good it was a little unhealthy with how much weight I had lost so quickly and what I was doing to my body but you know I, I miss being I miss the feeling of those endorphins every day and feeling motivated and dedicated and devoted to what I what I loved which was working out and feeling good and sharing that with people and with this whole thing of business and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and really like taking my whole business career to a new level I, I put my health aside I can't do that so the goal for this week is to really reprioritize baby steps on how I live my lifestyle. And I was talking to my roommate Gibbs about this, and in those clips that you guys saw, you know, I, I really don't like to bring this up, but Gibbs and I do eat a lot of food, and we had a, we had a good talk about it. We've been friends for 10 years, and we had a really good talk about it on Saturday night about making life changes together, because we, we spend a lot of time together on the weekends, and we have, we, we partied a lot before, and we've just been really good friends, and we really want to make sure we watch out for each other. And as much as we hate saying, like, oh whatever like who cares let's just have fun we we really need to buckle down on how we enable each other and once again this is me opening up to the world my insecurities and my problems which is a hard thing to do <laughs> but the thing is is that I want to relate with you because obviously you clicked on this vlog for a reason and I want to give you guys my honest input on everything not a bad way to start a Monday morning sold
So you have all these wires down here that you see when you walk into my office. So I put a table there. I have some Aventador roofs that I can use, but I'll just use a table. See how that doesn't look good? See, you just put a table there. And that just solves everything. So I feel terrible right now. The clips in the beginning of the video, those are some of the things that I ate last night and over the weekend. Last night I had a lot of food at like 2 a.m. You know, I, I, I don't like talking about it too much, but I, I used to binge eat all the time. And it's from like stress and family issues and stuff. I kind of had like an epiphany this morning that I need to change the way that I live my lifestyle and prioritize my health. Just the way I feel today kind of made me realize I need to really become more aware of what I'm eating and really step up my activity level because I sit at a desk all the time. So I'll bring you guys along for this little journey <laughs> as I already have with my business adventure and my work adventure. Now it's time to focus on me and my health and my body and my own being. It won't be easy, but I wanna share it with you guys to hopefully inspire you to become healthier and to become more aware of how to treat your body the right way, not just physically, but mentally. I don't have many cars to shoot today, and I'm just gonna be working on the computer, working on a few things as far as uh, some organization that I do for our server, and also for um, just some stuff online for social media and website design. And I forgot to mention, we sold that Aventador that I just filmed. Gone. Okay, so the whole idea behind this, I can't open my freezer with the camera there. Hold on. A year and a half ago, um, I gave up on training and working out because it was costing me way too much money. Now, I used to spend, I'll be very transparent with you guys, I would spend about $1,300 to $1,500 per month between my trainer, my coach, and my meal prep, which it really isn't too bad when you figure that you eat two meals a day, and I was spending roughly about 400 to 500 bucks a month on food, about 1200 bucks on training and the rest on my coach who I checked in with every day. I would visit him every week and he was kind of the person who I would go to to say, hey, like, you know, I feel kind of crappy today. I feel good today. And he would kind of help me change up my plan, whether I want to switch from fish to chicken, whatever it was, I went to him for coaching and for eating advice. Now I had a trainer who was separate who used to train me Monday through Friday in the morning at 6 a.m. and it burnt me out. I was destroyed. I became to the, I got to the point where I hated working out and I loved it for a long time. And this got to the point where I didn't want to work out and I hated waking up in the morning. I dreaded going to work out and it was just terrible and I really fell off track. It wasn't just with working out, it was the fact of like having to eat the same thing every single day. It got really, 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 really repetitive. I had no variation, I had no variety, it just really sucked. So I got to the point where I was like, you know, I'm done. And financially, I wanted to really save my money and put it in a different direction. And I realized that I have to be held accountable by somebody else, I can't do it on my own, which is very hard. So after four months of doing that, or five months of giving up completely, I realized you're not looking good, dude. You're gaining all your weight back, you're feeling terrible. And it wasn't just the way that I looked, it was just how I felt. I felt so tired and so drained and just like fat and nasty. And, I want to be honest with you guys, I felt terrible. I, want, I hated how I looked and I, I kind of still hate how I look, but I don't hate who I am anymore. So I've learned to look beyond the fact that I looked a certain way I didn't like. And now I've learned to really love, you know, love who I am and love who the person I am. And the outside of you is just the outside. That doesn't really mean who you are. But if you want to look jacked and fit and lean, you got to put a lot of work into doing that. And I want to do that. I really want to change my life and go back to where I was. So I was like 189 pounds. I was looking really good for my for my height and my body type. Yesterday I switched it up with doing a salad, some chicken, basic, you know, like good protein bars like Quest bars and Kind bars, back on water, but it's going to be a low carb, high protein, medium fat diet with 4 to 5 meals per day that incorporate some kind of high protein two to three high protein meals throughout the day, whether it's gonna be a chicken, a steak, a fish, or some kind of protein shake like this. And also I use a 619 Muscle Protein from my old coach, Pete, which I recommend highly. It's very pure, it's very high quality. And then also this PB2 chocolate uh, peanut butter is really good to throw in your oatmeal. I use the chocolate kind and also standard peanut butter kind. And all you do is you throw it in with your oatmeal and it tastes really good. It's like a chocolate dessert kind of for breakfast. But the things that I won't be having anymore would be like the pizza, the Mexican food, anything that's very, very high caloric, I don't want. And 
well, I want it, but I, I shouldn't have it. The idea behind it is to really just mentally track it. I'm not gonna be super crazy about writing everything down, fitness pal, all this, all this. It's just gonna be, if I have to question what I'm gonna eat, I probably shouldn't eat it. So today I made the step of also having a salad for lunch. Breakfast was juice from a shop that I go to. And the thing about juicing is that, not steroids, but juicing as in vegetables and, and, and fruit, is that they're very high in sugar. So your enzyme levels will spike up and you'll crash afterwards and be really tired. I'm still working on that. But as of right now, just focusing on getting in like the quality meals that I need to get in and really make sure that I'm keeping track of what I'm putting in my body that's healthy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go over a few things. Um, I posted on Snapchat about a questionnaire, about answering questions for you guys. So I'm actually gonna open up a magic bullet that I have. I loaded up on all these fruits a long time ago and I wanna have something sweet and just kinda of play around with what I can. So I have mangoes, blueberries, a bunch of other good treats. And then also I have this guy, which, not this Razor scooter that I stole from a dumpster, magic bullet which I haven't even opened yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this, make something special right now, and then do a Q&A for you guys. I really have no idea how to use this, so I'm just gonna go for it, I guess. Okay, so that's baby spinach, peanut butter, powder peanut butter, raspberries, medley, blueberries, and mangoes. I don't know how this is gonna be. Oh, you know what? I forgot protein powder. We'll go with some fudge brownie. Hopefully that makes it taste really good. It's about a, mm, it's about a, Three quarters of a scoop. I think this guy goes in here. I don't really know. That feels right. And then I'm gonna get my reaction on video. Okay, I don't. I've never done this before, so this is my first time ever using a magic bullet. Something doesn't smell good. I didn't put any water in there, so it was super dry. That's why I made that crazy noise. I think I got it. Man, that is not, it smells like something's burning. Oh man. I mean, I'm kind of proud of myself. Not bad. Not gonna lie though, that was a little scary because it started making really crazy sounds and like literally started making, it started smelling very strange. Watch the Casey Neistat videos. Precious, very Look what he got. Really special thing to have. For those of you who are not total nerds like me, the Canon 70D is the main camera what I'm shooting on right now that I use for this vlog. The 80D is its successor, which is supposed to be better in ways that I don't really understand. Needless to say, I'm pretty excited about this thing. I have one on order next week. He got his early. I can't wait. So I have a ton of Snapchats from everybody. Bunch of stuff to go through. So I'm pretty comfortable right now. I'm in bed, if you can't tell, so I'm going to go through some of the questions that you guys have sent me regarding health and fitness plus car stuff. Kevin says, you should try intermittent fasting. It works wonders when it comes to fat loss. 
Um, fasting for me has never really worked because it tends to lead towards like really heavy binge eating or just really heavy cravings for bad food. If I try to eat like maybe four to five times a day, I'm usually pretty good about that. It's just, it keeps things easier. Intermittent fasting just makes me cranky and mad. And especially at work or when I'm working, it keeps me more focused. So going like six to 15 hours without eating just feels really, really tough on my body. And I, I don't have the self-control. I wish I did have the self-control, but I, I wish I had self-control, but I don't. From J O'Brien 98 question for fitness. What do you do to motivate yourself to be fit, actually work out, and how do you choose your diet plan? Thank you, Spencer. You're a big inspiration. It's a huge goal of mine to visit you someday. Um, okay, so J O'Brien 98 what do I do to motivate myself to be fit? One of the main things I do is I watch YouTube videos. I watch YouTube videos almost... I watch YouTube videos every day and night. So I, I watch stuff online from like Christian Guzman, Matt Ogus, a lot of people who I look at. It started all the way back from like Chris Jones when I first started watching like Physiques of Greatness a few years ago. And it got me into the whole fitness industry. And I really just started seeing the dedication and discipline it took to have a really nice body, which that's really what I've always dreamt of having is like a really lean figure. And I really want that. I really want a lean physique and seeing other people achieve that and sharing that through their videos has really inspired me. So I think what's motivating me the most is imagining myself being like those people. How do I choose my diet and plan? Um, I hired a nutritionist before and they help a lot. And I've also done a ton of research on YouTube on how to eat properly. If you search like how to lose, like meal plan to lose weight or meals to lose weight or food that to burn fat, you'll find plenty of things where you can structure a meal plan where it's relatively easy. Favorite quest bars? That's the important stuff in life from Vinnie Me. Uh, favorite quest bar is the white chocolate raspberry. I've never been a fan of fruit and candy kind of thing, but that flavor is so sweet that I love it. I like the Oreo flavor. Cookie dough is okay. The pumpkin one, ugh. Everything else is just too fake, I guess. I had like the apple pie one, just too... I don't know if it's fake or what. Friend Kelsey, she graduated. Congratulations, Kelsey. <laughs> Avery, what is your favorite car for your question in A? Favorite car? I can't, that's too tough. Too many. See bad boss, favorite meal of the day. Usually it was dinner because I used to eat really, really bad food. I come home, I'd eat like the worst food possible, and then I would edit videos or watch TV or watch movies. And just binge eat. But my favorite meal of the day is probably going to be breakfast because it gets you going. And typically you can eat a more calorie dense meal for breakfast so you feel fuller longer. Um, but yeah, I like breakfast the most just because it's the most important meal and you can pack in a lot of food because you burn it throughout the whole day. All right, is that. Those are the kind of comments I love getting. Thank you for sharing that. Cameron's going to die soon, so I got about answer a few more. What is your inspiration to get yourself on the right track from Zach with a surfboard? Um, inspiration, once again, YouTube. Watch a lot of YouTube videos. Argon says, hey, Spence, I'm a skinny guy who would like to gain some weight and muscle tone. What do you recommend? Thanks. Eating. Eat a ton of food. Uh, one of the things is, though, is that when you eat all that food, you want to make sure you're putting it to use. Don't just eat a ton of food and not work out. If you can, start off with just weightlifting. Don't do cardio because cardio is going to burn all that off. Cardio will help you burn fat and your metabolic rate pick up a ton. But if you want to put on size, eat a lot of food. And now when I say food, eat calorie-dense food with a lot of protein. So you want to eat a lot of chicken, a lot of beef, a lot of steak, and also carbs, really good carbs. So your rice, your bread, your proper starches, the right food to eat. You don't want to eat a lot of like candy and chocolate. I mean, it'll help dirty bulk, but I would recommend a lot of rice with your food, extra protein, extra carb, but make sure you put into use. So make sure you're lifting. You know, if you're young, like 15, 16, you're just starting off, don't lift crazy heavy. Once you get to like 17, 18, 20, you can start eating a lot and really lifting heavy and heavy and heavier. But when you're younger, you're still growing, so be careful. Uh, do I play any video games from M. Delatore 18? Yes, I do. I used to play a lot of um, Forza and then also Call of Duty and Halo. Love Halo, such a fun game. But I actually have a Nintendo 64 with Zelda, and I got I GoldenEye, Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, a bunch of other games that I really want to play. Uh, Brandon James 627. What are your thoughts on JDM? Also, what happened to your Subaru? I saw it in one of your YouTube videos on Target Trophy. 
Uh, JDM, yeah, I like JDM cars. Um, not a ton. I mean, I, they're cool. I've seen some nice Hondas and really, really clean Acuras, but I've never really been into it a lot. Uh, Subaru, I sold it to invest in a car wash. I own part of um, the detail shop in La Jolla, and also I invested in Devoted Society and my poster company and also in my health. I took all the money from my Subaru, and as I said earlier, my payment for the 1200 bucks per month on my health stuff that was what paid for the Subaru. And I look up because I have my Subaru on my wall. Who has had the most influence on your life? Who do you look up to from question two from Brendan? Um, I've always been really independent. I've had a lot of mentors. Like, I've had a lot of inspirational people like Casey Neistat and Christian Guzman and, and those kind of guys. But, I, I mean, nobody in particular, really. That's my roommate gives. <laughs> <laughs> He loves yes. Subaru. Yes. He really wants a Subaru hatchback. I should start a GoFund for his Subaru hatchback. Or I'll buy him one when I can. John3055. Hey, I don't know. After hearing your Snapchat for some reason, I've been looking into a social media manager for a side job to collect money. Since you have devoted society and run help and and run and help so many other companies, any advice? Um, prioritize your time. So if you're partying and you're playing video games or you're watching a lot of TV, find ways where you can slowly adapt that time into putting your effort and time into something that benefits your future self. Since I do all these things, you really want to prioritize what's the most important thing to you. Write down a list of what you want to do and then prioritize them in a timely manner that make most sense for your life. Stupid camera is always dying. Uh, Evan Grow, excited to see the mixture of health and fitness. Awesome, thank you very much. I'm excited to do it as well. Yeah, I was pissed off earlier. True. By any chance, do you know how much a stock can be? I know Casey Neistat just got the ADD, and he got two of them. I have a Canon ADD on order right now. I cannot wait to get that thing. Kevin Flores. Uh, there's a picture. Mikey, watching my video. Thanks, dude. Hayden, thanks. Oh, yeah.